Good morning, John Glenn. Today is Friday, March 31st, 2023. I'm Aubrey, and this is the view from the Falcon's Nest. Officials with the South Bend Police Department announced yesterday that they will be teaming up with the Michigan Crime Stoppers to target three unsolved murders from last year. According to WVPE, beginning Saturday, Michigan Crime Stoppers will launch a series of specialized marketing campaigns surrounding the homicides of Alexis Morales, Johanny Lee Johnson, and Deontay Williams. Those campaigns will include specialized mobile ads that will appear on cell phones in the area near where the homicides happen. Lieutenant Kayla Miller, who oversees homicides investigations for the South Bend Police Department and serves as the Michigan Crime Stoppers coordinator, says she hopes this new strategy may encourage people to come forward. The South Bend Medical Foundation says there's a need for blood. According to WNDU, if you donate blood now through April 8th, you'll receive a $15 gift card from Memo's Pizza and a pair of South Bend Medical Foundation Argyle socks. The foundation says they typically see a decrease in blood donors during spring break, which is happening across Michiana schools right now. Donors must be at least 17 or 16 with parental consent, weighing at least 110 pounds. To schedule a blood donation, click here or call 574-234-1157. A new study says South Bend median credit score is rock bottom. A study by WalletHub.com says the city is in the lowest 1% in the nation. The consumer website released its list of cities with the highest and lowest credit scores. Wallet Hub compared the median credit scores of people in over 2,500 cities. The overall average credit score for South Bend is 448. At the top of the list is New Brunswick, New Jersey, with a median credit score of 816. The aerial has arrived. Please see Mrs. Parent in room 244 to purchase your copy today. Only $5 will buy the work of over 100 John Glenn High School students, writers, and artists who are featured in this 40th anniversary edition. Seniors, baby pictures should be emailed to or turned in to Mrs. Smith or Ms. Mr. Smith and Mrs. Parent by the end of the day today. Jostens will be here in the cafeteria Wednesday for seniors to pick up your caps and gowns and other purchases. Final payments are due at the time of the pickup and must be cash or money order. Call 1-800-JOSTENS if you want to know your balance information. In celebration of the Falcons' historic season, subscriptions to the John Glenn yearbook will be $43 till the end of today. That's $3 off the normal price. Families with two or more students can purchase books for $40 for each student. Pick up an order form in room 406. Make checks payable to John Glenn High School or provide cash. Now to weather with Caleb. So for weather today, it's going to be very rainy. Um, there's a thunderstorm going on right now at an average temperature of 49, but it's going to feel like 43. The wind is going to be going west-northwest at 18 miles per hour. Now moving on to the three-day forecast. For Saturday, it's going to be a high of 58, low of 32, cloudy. Sunday, it's going to be a high of 55, low of 26, sunny. And for Monday, it's going to be a high of 61, cloudy, with a low of 42. Now to sports with Nathan. Good morning, Falcons. Today is Friday. A South Bend Schools consultant has recommended that South Bend Clay High School be closed. The move, according to WSBT, would save $1.3 million annually. Its arts program would be transferred to South Bend Riley High School. The move would have an impact on the Northern Indiana Conference, of which John Glenn is currently a member. Now to lunch with Caleb. So for lunch today, we are going to be having jalapeno cheese bites, stromboli, a marinara sauce cup, green beans, a variety of fruit, and tortilla chips. That's all we have for today, Falcons. Have an amazing day.